Brockville Museum acknowledges that the land on which we gather to exchange ideas and share our past, present and future is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee and the Wendat peoples. Looking around Brockville, it's easy to find many old buildings and if you look closely, you may be able to find some interesting architectural elements. Welcome to Brockville Museum's Building Brockville series where we will explore some of the different architectural styles that can be found around the city. Today we are looking at Edwardian four square houses that were very popular between 1890 and about 1930. Edwardian middle class homes were constructed in the first decade really of the 1900s as owners of Victorian houses with large lots sold off land and owners would buy that subdivided somewhat and build these Edwardian four square homes. Edwardian middle class residential architecture has moved away really from the extravagance you see in the Victorian styles and is a little more similar to a modern house. While this style is very common, you often don't find architects talking about it or architectural enthusiasts. Edwardian houses can vary drastically in looks, but generally have similarities that can be identified. They were constructed with either a square or rectangular footprint. These homes are a story or two stories tall with a hipped or pyramid-shaped roof. Dormers can be found in Edwardian homes, usually facing towards the front, but can also be found facing along the sides or the back. And dormers are windowed rooms that protrude from the roof line. You also see variations of the four square style using front facing gabled roofs instead of using the pyramid or the hipped roof shape. And the facades of these homes are usually very smooth brick that have little or no ornamentation to them. Originally, windows would be sashed windows with plain stone lintels. However, you may find bay windows on the first floor and that can actually be a very common design element. And on the second floor, there are usually three windows and the middle one would be the smallest. And as houses have been renovated over the years, sometimes this small middle window has become a door where you'll have small balconies or small little porches today. Front doors can be through a portico or through a veranda and the door itself can be centered or off to the side. Some Edwardian houses even have little more than a stoop for their front door as well. Now these two houses behind me on King Street West are examples of the framed versions of the four square style. Both of these houses are square. They're fairly sparsely decorated when compared to the Queen Anne style and other Victorian styles. And they have front doors through large verandas. They also have pyramid shaped roofs that have centered dormer windows and really are just great examples of the Edwardian four square style. When classifying architecture, particularly in rural areas and small towns, it can be difficult as the buildings may be a mix of a variety of different styles, particularly when additions and renovations have occurred. Styles do not change overnight and often overlap can happen as tastes and styles change. And sometimes even experts disagree on what a building should be classified as. If you're interested in some of the architectural terms that we used in this video, be sure to check out our architectural terms list that will be included. There are many houses in Brockville that are the Edwardian four square or variations of this style. If you decide to go out and investigate our local architecture, please respect private property. Thank you for joining us as we explore Brockville's architecture and the next time you're walking around these different neighborhoods, take a look around because you never know what architectural styles you may see.